Now today we're going to solve a question permutation combination. The question is how many different words can be formed using the letter of the word Honolulu if no two alike letters are together. So let's start. Now my objective is to calculate the number of words where no two alike letters are together. That means OO cannot be there, LL cannot be there and UU cannot be there. So I'm going to take help from set theory. That is I'm going to use Venn diagram here. So let's say this is my Venn diagram and then here I'm going to represent some set. Let's say this is my first set and its area will denote the number of words where OO is together. Now next is, let's say this is the set which contains UU words together. And why are they having some common intersection? Because there are number of words where OO and UU are together. And let's say the third set which contains the number of words, okay, which has uh, LL together. Now all of them are sharing a common region because there are words where O, U, U, L, L, all three are together. Okay. Now let's say this is the first area and this is the second area and this is the third area. Now fourth area means O, O and U, U are together at the same time. Similarly, this is the fifth area, this is the sixth area. And the seventh area, that is the common intersection where all three are together. And then the outside, that is eighth area, where no, nothing is together. Okay. That is my objective here. So my objective is to calculate the area. 8. That is my objective from the starting. Now let's work for all areas. So total area will be where UU are together, where UU are not together, where O is together, where O is not together. T total area will be, I think we have total 8 alpha, 8 letters here and divide by 2 factorial because of O repetition, divide by 2 factorial because of LL repetition and then similarly for UU. So I think this is 7 factorial and 7 factorial is 5040 here. Now next, let's work for area. Easiest area here is area 7. So I'm going to work for area 7 right now. In area 7, I think OO is together. I think UU is together. And I think LL is together. And rest HN and R as it is here. So this will be equal to, I think uh, OO I'm going to count as single unit. Similarly, UU and similarly LL. So I think this is total 5 factorial and divide by nothing is repeating that is this will be equal to 120 number of words in area 7. Now next I'm going to calculate where OO is together, where UU is together and now rest as it is H, N and L, L. L cannot be together, L can be together. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So I'm this L and L are floating here. They are, they means you can arrange here between each other positions. That means this area denotes where this position is there. So this area is area, I think area 7 plus area 4. As you can say. So this will be, I think it, it is equal to 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial because of L and L. So I think this will be equal to 360. Now if you observe one thing here that is using symmetry. Can I say that area 4 in area 5, in area 6 will be equal because the calculation will be exactly same here. So let's calculate area 4 here. So area 4 will be equal to area 360 minus area 7. So area 7 is 120. This will be 240. And using symmetry, can I say area 4 is equal to area 5 is equal to area 6. All three are equal. Now all I have to calculate is area 1, 2 and 3 because once I get area 1, 2 and 3, I'll get the area 8. Why? Because I have the total area and once I'll calculate 1, 2, 3, I'll get the individual areas from 1 to 7 that I'm going to subtract from total. The moment I subtract from total, I'll get area 8. So I'm going to calculate the number of words where OO is together, where UU is free, where L and L are free. Similarly, H and N is there. So the set in which you'll get it, the area will be so I think the area will be 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7. So this will be the sum. And why I'm writing 4 and 5? Because it is possible that you, you are together or they are not together. Okay. So that's why I've written 4. Because the condition is O is together. So O is must. So the permutation will be, I think you're going to count O as 1. So in total here we have, that is 7 factorial. Divide by 2 factorial is for U and 2 factorial is for L here. So this will be equal to 1, 2, 6, 0. Now, 
uh, this is equal to area 1, 4, 5, 7. Now, I am, our objective is to calculate 1. So, we know 4 and 5 and we know 7. So, from here, area 1 will be equal to 1, 2, 6, 0 minus individual area. I think I can say 2 times of area 4 and 5 are equal. So, 2 times into 240 and then minus area 7. So, area 7 we already calculated. So, it is 120. So, you will subtract, you will get the area 1. As I think you will get this as 660 here. So we know area 1 from here. Now the next thing is if you do the calculation for UU and LL, I think the same calculation will be there and you will get the same result. That is, area 2 will be equal to also 660. And similarly, area 3 is also 660 using symmetry. I think you can see the same way we got 4, 5, 6 equal. So in the same manner, area 1 will be equal to area. 2 and that will be equal to area 3. So all 3 are equal. Now from this, I think we can do the calculation much faster. Now our total area, total area is equal to which we have calculated earlier, it was 5040. And total area means area adding from 1, 2 and so on till 8 will be equal to 5040. Now here I can see area 8 will be equal to 5040. Since the area 1, 2 and 3 are equal, I can say it is minus 3 times of individual area. That is area of 1 is 660 here minus 3 times area 4, 5, 6 are equal. So minus 3 times of area of individual area that is 4. That is 240 here minus area 7. So area 7 is minus 120. So if you calculate area 8 from here, the area 8 will be equal to, I think it will be equal to 2220. And area 8 represents number of words in which no two letters are alike. This will be our final answer and that will be all.